In diesem Monat kam ein neues Video von Producer Michael raus. Und zwar hat er seine Watch Collection aufgebessert. Und da können wir mal gucken, ne? Ein bisschen Watch Content. A Watch Collection Update. And it's been probably a year since I've done one. Maybe even longer. How long has it been, Adam? Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a while. It was outside the last one we did, so it must have been last year. Yeah. So now we're inside and uh, I've got some new pieces and, or pieces that I haven't shown you in the past. It's so nice uh, let's start. I'm going to start with something very, very, very special. And check this out. Stands to show oh, you. We're so getting be very no... pro, aren't we? Yeah, I didn't put my glasses on or any of that stuff, but I guess I don't need to see them, do I? <laughs> okay, so this. Oh, you know what I need? I need a cloth to wipe them. Don't have one of those either. I have one in my bag. You do? Hold on, stand by. So now we have a cloth. Thank you, Adam. Ah, perfect. To wipe them. This is the long awaited producer Michael version of the Jacob Epic X. And this particular watch Schönes is Modell, rose gold kennen, ne? with a baguette diamond bezel. Toll, and genau. Und hier seht ihr, das sind diese Drumsticks. Er war ja früher Drummer. Und das sind Sticks. The special producer Michael Movement, which has drumsticks. You see the drumsticks? Mm -hmm. On the back of it, um, is that the right way around? Right, uh, right way around. It is. Here, hold it up to face me. There you go. How am I doing? Great. Yeah. Ah, mit seiner Unterschrift hier drauf. Cool. So yeah, so this is so unbelievably special to me that Jacob actually made a producer Michael edition watch and uh, there's also a titanium version and also a gold version without the diamonds. This one is very expensive. The uh, gold version is expensive but not anywhere near as expensive as this. And then, ta-da! This is ah. the titanium version of the same watch. Isn't that beautiful? Ich glaube sogar, die gefällt mir fast besser. Also, die ist natürlich teurer, aber die würde mir vielleicht sogar besser gefallen. Yeah, turn it the other way. There you go. Hold on. Let's do it professionally. <laughs> Can we angle this? Do anything you no, like you with it. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, it goes like that. <laughs> Perfect. Wow, that is a real statement piece. $99. Go on, worth every cent. Witzig. It's a G-Shock. It's indestruct indestructible. The, do you know which model that is? The red. I have no idea. It's the GA2100. Hold on. How did you know that? Because I know my G-Shocks. Or did you read it? No, I know my G-Shocks. Because I have the metal version of that. And guess who else does? Who? You do. I do? I just gave it to you. Oh, that's what's in there? <laughs> I didn't open it yet. Yeah, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. So you now have two versions of that watch. Okay, well, I'm going to put this one away. It's not going to go on here. Is that okay? Yeah, you've got to put that one in the safe. Bank vault. <laughs> okay, these are watches that go. I've owned a while. At least some of them are, some of them are new. Okay, I'm going to swap this out. That This is our display one now because we can angle this one better. Oh, you can? Yeah. Okay. This one is one of my favorite watches. I've had this quite a while. I bought this from Vadim at Risk Aficionado. Um, it is the masterpiece in platinum with the meteorite dial and Princess also Cut. Off. Shop. Ja, ich habe die aber noch ein bisschen teurer. Factory, everything is factory on this watch. How was that? That is my probably one of my most favorite watches. You know what I'm going to ask you now, right? Guess how heavy it is. Yeah. Very it's heavy. Really heavy. Platinum is really heavy. Would you like to try it? Sure. Thank you very much. Oh wow. Yeah. Really heavy. Yeah, it is. I mean that is Platin. That's probably getting on for as heavy as that solid gold G-Shock. I used to have one of these actually that had uh, round diamonds on the bezel and um, I saw this with the princess cut and I thought that is just subtle but to me so much nicer so I went ahead and got the yeah. uh, princess cut one. <gasps> this one. This one? Yes. Let's this is my latest ac acquisition. This is from Vadim. Also very heavy. Feel it. Wow. White gold? Uh, platinum. Oh, platinum? Okay. Platinum. Okay. platinum. Um, that's why it's so heavy. And let's pop it on there. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Stunning. And it has the little diamond hour markers. Yeah. Baguettes, yeah. Tolle Pretty watch, one. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think I'll put that one on. Stunning. Okay. Should I put that one on? Yeah. Stunning okay. piece. Let's put that one. Get nowadays. For sure. 
Did you pay over retail? I did. Okay. Um, but I didn't pay, you know, crazy over retail. Like, like I mean, now they're going for so much money. Um, but what if I wanted Chrono Twenty Four? What would that be going for? With these hour markers, about a hundred and fifty, hundred and sixty thousand dollars. And what did you pay? Less than that. <laughs> uh, uh, not a Still lot. six figures? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. And right now, these watches. Oh, well, let's show people what the watch is first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh so this is. Alter Philist, or was? Ach, was? Guck mal, der Producer Michael, ja? guck dir den an. Einfach so. Huit, huit. Hat er sich einen Ding geholt, ne? Okay. Uh, to the box. To the box. Okay, where are we going now? Uh, Top yeah. left. Yeah, this one? Yeah. While we're on a Daytona. Yeah, Daytona. Yeah. I love the Daytona. Me too. The Daytona is just a, a very special watch. Yeah. So this one is white gold, um, has a Parve diamond dial yeah, with sapphire hour markers and a sapphire bezel. Factory? And I think it looks absolutely stunning. Um, that's a great question. Is it factory? I don't know. Um, the price that I paid for this I don't believe it's factory, but I've had a few people look at it and they can't tell whether it is or it isn't. So okay. uh, I'm going to say it's not because I oh. don't oh. believe that I could have bought it for what I paid. Okay. Die Steine sehen ein bisschen komisch eingefasst aus. Hier. Der Schriftzug ist ein bisschen tief. Denkt man nicht, dass es ein factory blatt ist. Ne? Nur auch wahrscheinlich die Lunette nicht. Can I just applaud you on your new taste in watches? So, I don't know what that means. Do you remember our first video, our first watch collection? All video? the blingy stuff. It was they were all like iced out APs and Hublot big have bangs those. and right. But but I feel like you've I've, really come into your own. In I've the last... gone off those completely. Yeah. I'm trying That's to stay right. as original as possible. Don't need the blingy bling stuff. I, I don't think it does anything to the watch other than really puts it down a little bit but really? now the new stuff you're like oh i just got this and i'm like oh that's really nice yeah i mean this especially so Look this is that. a 41 millimeter they call it the tiffany dial this is the least expensive of all the the watches yeah. uh, that rolex make um i think it's about five thousand dollars or five thousand six hundred dollars and again lucky enough to buy this at at list these are selling just under twenty thousand dollars now can wow. you believe that wow Okay, let's go to... Let's see that Aventi. Aventi. Okay, Aventi. so this one, I actually helped design. Um, and the reason I helped design it was, I don't know how much help I really was, um, the original one had a clear dial. And you couldn't really, at least I couldn't tell the time on it, because it was Kein you know, very difficult for me to see the oh, hands yeah, it's come on, on the clear design, dial. Yeah. So I said, can you make me one with a black dial? And they did, and this just came out so spectacular. Now they now they actually make them. But this is the root beer, and it's nicht so my favorite. 18 karat rose gold. Find Hold on, nicht so make it Uhr. all sparkly. So also, people uh, might think that this is a Submariner, but it is in fact a GMT. It is a GMT. You can tell because it has an extra hand somewhere mm -hmm. in there. That one there. Yeah. And this is also very heavy. Is it? And, yeah. Feel the weight of it. So this is rose gold. Rose gold, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. It's amazing, isn't it? I mean, this is a design that's been around since when? The 50s? Yeah. Like, and they've evolved a little bit. The lugs have got a little bit wider. We're, we're not talking like much evolution here. We're, no. We're cavemen to a caveman with slightly less back hair, you know? Like but pretty much. Yeah. Another acquisition from Rist Aficionado. Oops, let to open it get it out. This is... An absolutely beautiful, beautiful watch. So this is the one that you were a little bit bummed out because Peter Marco has a version that's... Yeah, but his is different. Right, his um, is aftermarket, this is a factory. Yeah, even his case is aftermarket, right? Right. So the only thing original in that watch was the movement. Right. Um, and that's fine. Um, this is, you know... All factory. It's factory, yeah. So it's a very, very oh, pretty super watch. Super nice watch. Super nice watch. They're not my favorite. I'm not a Patek fan. I don't really like the shape of them. They're a bit too um, fuddy duddy for me. What does that even mean, fuddy duddy? I don't know. Look at that micro rotor, you see? Whoa, it? yeah. Look at that micro rotor. Is it out of focus? No, I see it. 
Oh, make it, it you can make it spin somehow. Yeah, it's me. Also, it's a very good video. Also, it's a Michael.